might just be able to make out the head frame in the center of the screen where we've just come from. So just a little ways up the canyon, we've happened to cross this. How cool is this? Exciting stuff. Let's explore. I'll let you go first. And you see, this is not a no trespassing sign. That was a notice of an old mining claim that has long expired. Okay. Looks like a uh, water oh, wow. buffalo there. Is that what that's called? Like a nickname for it. They fill this with water and they can transport it to different sites. You've got some different attachments up there. Some cupboards, extra glass panels. Those are pretty thick. This is neat. Circular window. I wonder where that came from. Originally. Oh. That's a very large door. A very, very large door. And you got a few more doors. Looks like a windows surround the aluminum for to put the screens in. And then you see you got a, a, a wet saw. This is for like cutting tile. So down in here, there'll be water pumped up through, comes down to this. So when you're cutting your tile, kind of keeps it from chipping for the most part. You still get a little bit of chipping, and, but it also helps keep the debris from flying, the dust, the silica breathing in. And then here, this window is actually a door. Nice repurposing. Cool windows here. Nice stove. That's in really good condition. No, I'm sorry, that's not a stove, it's a fireplace. A log burner. Yeah, wood burning fireplace looks like. And there's a bunch of material like. It's in this little stove. It's really cute. How pretty is that? Look, and it, and it still. Oh no, that latches. That one still works. Very ornate. Isn't that cute? That is nice. Let's see, there's a bunch more miscellaneous. Then got some I beam. Look at those timbers. Oh, there's another stove around here, a cooking stove. Let's take a look at that. A little two burner. Yeah, isn't this from the 40s, 50s with this? From the styling, that's what I would place it at. It's in good condition. I mean, in, no nests inside or anything, just a bit of charred mm. stuff. And the air vent. And then the cooking pots. There you go, get a better look inside. Yeah. That's really neat. Isn't that lovely? And you got some propane tanks. Newer barbecue. Looks like a snow blower. Oh no, sorry, that's not a snow blower. It's like a little trenching machine. And then that metal cage looks like the surround you would see attached to like a water tower with the staircase inside. And you got some snow plows and some more I-beams. Bunch of material. Which continues on this side. So you got a little spiral staircase. That's pretty neat. 55 gallon drums. Looks like a wash basin over there. Hot water heater. That looks like the, like a pool pump. We'll go in there in a second. 
this is a really lovely this could this would be really really nice to have if you sanded it down and um put that what's that black metallic paint that you you can put on things to stop it rusting you can use it for outside or whatever yeah hammerite i don't know if you call it that over here i think we've got a different term but i, I know what you're talking about yeah this is an old um wardrobe freestanding oh. wardrobe You've got the shoe rack on top, clothes rail along here. But this would be really, really nice if you could, well, either have it as a, a wardrobe, but also outside, put some um, shelves on it and have it for plants or storage. You can make this look really beautiful. Right, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I like that a lot. Old roll bar back there. Maybe came off a little dune buggy or something. And the toolbox for the truck. Let's see if there's anything in there. There is. Oh wow, a bunch of oil. Some like WD-40. Some spray paint. Wow. Let's close it up. Yeah. And then check out what's in this little shed. Oh, it's a lizard. Look at the club, how the club's been made. I can't read what it says. Oops. Oh, bit oh. of a mishmash. Definitely an old storage shed. Yeah, mice and rodents have been in here. That's a shame you've got all your knickknacks though. You've even got some tools. Yeah, got parts of a bag, some bags on there, some more serpentine belts. Yeah, just a bunch of misc everyday parts, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty disgusting. Broken glass all over. Yeah. It actually hasn't been used. There's just rubbish down it, uh, bottles. Yeah. So I wonder if they've uh, just built this one as a... Maybe. You know what I meant. I forgot, lost track. And then we'll go check out the new one. Look at the rope. You expect to see this at the, the beach, the coast. I think they've done this really, really well. Fully stocked. It's pretty in pretty good condition too. This looks new. This does look newer. Right, there's lye in there. So you can sprinkle after you've tinkled. Yep. And a mirror. Wow. Cabin. It's a nice little porch back here. Oh, they've got a horseshoe. Now remember the other day that we found some nails and I said that I thought they were horseshoe nails. Right. So when they shoe horses, they'll put the horseshoe on the foot, they nail it in, and then they clip it. So those nails we found at that abandoned ranch mm -hmm. must have been horseshoe nails. Oh, yeah. And you know also, horseshoes have always got to go upright and not fly that way. Right, because for luck, if it's upside down, you're draining your luck. That's right. Now, let's get in this cabin. So I wonder if this was originally a miner's cabin it's kind that of... they've done up. Yeah, maybe a family of uh, miners were here, because it's a good size. So this wasn't, I don't think this was for a single person. Now, what's this called? Those are shingles. Shingles. Oh, like, before we go in, isn't that a, a come and get it? Where you, uh... Come and get it, dinner's ready. Yeah, I could have done that. <laughs> That's cool. Let's 
And now I'll let you enter first. Okay, so this was, looks like it was a porch. They've covered it in now. Got a nice chair shop back. Other miscellaneous parts. Well, that looks like that. Clean out the, the stove pipe. Some other little tools and things. Now, would this have been an add-on? Because looking at this, this looks like it was once an outside wall. Well, like yeah, like I said, this was the porch, and they've just covered it in. They put walls on it. So this would have been here originally at the top. Oh. So they put foam and stuff in there to help the, from the water to getting into it. And then they've just put walls on later. Wow. Would you look at this? All the tinned food, the drinks, cups, plates. Wow. This is like somebody's just walked away. There's so much food in Look at all the, the dishes, the cups, the frying pans, the water. You, if you got stuck up here, you could stay up here for at least a month. Yeah. With there's... food. Water, maybe not so much. What's back here? Oh, you got logs for the fireplace. Candles. Kitchen roll. Cups, coffee. I think we should move in. This is great. This is great. Let's take a look around the rest of the place. How many frying pans does one need? That many. <laughs> And the fireplace slash stove, I suppose. Well, whoever was here before didn't clean the fireplace out after them. Oh, I can see all that ash in there. That would kick out some heat as well. Oh, I bet. So that would be to, for heating as well as cooking. Mm. You got the sink. Now, for them to have a sink and a tap would mean there would be some sort of running water unless they have a container that they use. This is one of those old butler sinks. Right. That's what I'm wondering if those big old uh, water containers outside were for, try to fill them up and then use those for your water supply. So you've got knives, cups, glasses, everything that you need. Your glad wrap. Microwave. Bako foil. But if they had a microwave, they, this is wired for electricity. Is it? Well, there's electric cables down there. Unless you would bring a jackery or something and plug it in. Yeah, you can do that. Because they've got a, I've just noticed, they've got a little TV. TV. And a radio. Pans, a bunch of paper plates. Yeah, there's the little cooker there. And your uh, Coleman's propane stove. Let's just take a little peek inside the cooker. That's clean, pretty clean. That's not bad. Yeah. So I wonder if this is kind of, I don't know, would they be, because this is gas hob. Oh, look at that. Jack Daniels. Yum, yum. Got some more canned foods. There's the other side of the TV. They've got a VCR coffee maker. Oh, the DVDs. Those are VHS tapes. Oh, of course they are. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. There are some DVDs, though. Oh, there is one there. And some books. What are they reading? Shoeless Joe. Now, is that Shoeless Joe Jackson from Base, that movie? Um, yeah. yeah. It is indeed. 
Tom Clancy, Dick Francis. Huh. Dirt Wheels magazine. Wish that was a motocross magazine. 2005. Continuing through. So you've got bunk beds. Little curtain, chairs. Fan in here. Some it's more curtain. books. Motorcycle helmet. Is that a sleeping bag up there? Yep, a weather mummy sleeping bag. Mm. Coleman two burner propane stove. We've got one of those. Oh, creaky, creaky floor floors. Board. Now we'll go out that door in a minute. Let's just take a look round here. This is Some a good idea. Yeah, They've covered covering the them. bed with plastic to stop dust and I guess I know animals would be able to. Yeah, the mice, eat rats, it. whatever would eat through that, but keep it free from dust. So you've got a treble bed here. And a guitar. A broken guitar, albeit. Oh. Play us a tune, Steve. That's something that uh, the viewers don't know that you were a, a guitar player. Hmm. Maybe one day. One day. When he'll I've, play for you. When I've got one that isn't broken. Empty. Um, empty, but this reminds me of like something a great grandma would have. Yeah. You know, the style, the heavy, the heavy wood. The big knobs. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yes. That's yeah, cool. And I like how they've divided it, you know, just with these bamboo sheets. There was more bamboo sheets in the, that garage place that we looked at. Yeah. Very clever way to separate a room. Let me just pick up this pair of pliers that's on the floor. Now, should we go out this door? I love the old door. I mean, look at the the nuts on it. Yeah. Isn't Very that, sturdy. That's upside down. Isn't that upside down? No. It's wouldn't whatever that, way they want it to be. Wouldn't that be at the top and that be at the bottom? Mm. Well, just a thought. Would you take a look at that view. So you get up in the morning, sit outside on the deck, have a cup of coffee, and then in the evening you can sit, have a glass of wine, chat with your friends. And enjoy the serenity. To the left. Oh, there's a door that goes out to the porch. A little standing fan. The restroom. So they've got the sink. And outside, a bizarre little area that I don't know how to get into. Oh, it's from that door on the end. Okay. I got that insulated very well. Look at the shower. Yeah, is it, there's even soap, shampoo, and the shower head's still still there. And that's like a little uh, a motor to pump it out, pump it up. Now, although they've got a toilet in here, it's obviously not plumbed. No, no water, so they don't want people to, you know, but I wonder whether or not there was. Maybe. Oh, well, that's a cool uh, picture there. Is that 2000? Yeah. Central Nevada Museum. Turn apart. Hmm. Oh, 
<laughs> Look into the kitchen there. All the plumbing. Another stove. I wow. think I've just found my favorite room. Look at all the light in here. The bricks. This a uh, sofa bed. Extra cushions. Yeah, this is a cool place right in here. Except for when it rains. <laughs> well, I guess you could uh, put a little water system in here to catch it for the shower just next door. Yeah. Another look at that stove. This stove is so ornate. It's got grand number 12 on the top or on the door. It's got wood inside. I don't think I would personally chance using that. No, not with the uh, vent all smashed up like that. Smoke will go everywhere. I was not just, I was thinking more fire, fire hazard. That's kind of just to look at and to be pretty. They all, you know, the, the way the feet are. Yeah. It's really ornate. Love it. Back outside we go. Oh, bright. Very bright. All right. Locked up nice and tight. Stops the rodents getting in. Yep, just how we found it. Let's see what else we can find. <laughs>